Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adrian, single father to 13-year-old twins, John and Ella. Hi. Our journey began in Thailand, where I used to work as an underwater cameraman, and that's where I met their mom. Tragically, we lost her during the birth in Bangkok. I later moved back to the UK to be closer to family. Now, nine years later, I'm home educating the kids and planning exciting adventures. I've always known the transformative power of travel, and I want my children to experience it while they're still young enough to want to go with their old dad. We converted my trusty work van into a cozy camper van to embark on incredible journeys. Our future plan is to upgrade to a bigger van and make a more permanent home in Europe. Join us on our journey as we explore the world, learn and grow together. Hi everyone, we're back after a month away. Now I've been working really hard, as you know, to save up money for the next van. So there's just not been time to film anything, but we thought, what we've been doing is going and visiting other people's vans, but we've never given you a proper van tour of our van. So she's a 2008 Vauxhall Vivaro and I've had her for about seven years now and it was my work van for doing the kitchen and bathroom fitting business that I run and I was just laid in bed one night thinking it'd be wonderful to have a camper van and I just had this inspiration we've got a van downstairs on the drive why don't we convert that and use it part-time as a camper so let's take a closer look one of the first things that we did was we added a window on both sides. The one on the other side is an opening window. This was the first one we did, me and John together, because we wanted to have a bit more light in the back, because obviously it was a panel van. There's a little chimpanzee, and she is gonna have you uh, give you a little walk around the cupboards on the inside. This is the inside. We have the cushions and the table that we need to move to get to the cupboards. I've got mine, the best one. Um, not Thing in there, um, but it's clearly the best one. Um, we've got John's. He's usually got junk in it, but he doesn't have it in there now because we took the junk out. Um, and here's Father's, and we just basically keep all our wash bags up here, and like you know, books maybe, or just things like small things like that that we have not much room for. I don't know what's in here now, and I don't bother um, to look, but that's basically it. Um, this is mine. I kind of wish that wasn't there so I'd have more room, but you know, it is what it is. And yeah, um, socks and stuff, you know, t-shirts and trousers, and maybe I usually put like a warm thing under there for me to wear. Um, and then, um, they, Share a cupboard, John. Um, and just like, yeah, all the same stuff, maybe in different orders, I don't know. Um, it's basically kind of it, it's where we keep all our clothes and stuff when we're not using them. Uh, and then there's these thingies, like, you know. Them. You store stuff in them, but a load of them. There's this. Is this sunscreen? I can't remember. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And we just keep random things in there. I think I've got one behind on my thingy. Yeah, I have one, but um, I can't really see that. Right, next we're going to take a look at this little kitchen that I made. This was one of the hardest things to build in this van. Um, there was so much stuff to fit into such a small space. So, first of all over here, got a lovely little soft clothes cutlery drawer which works absolutely beautifully. I've got a little uh, inset tray there from Amazon and uh, that works fantastic. Directly underneath there, we've got the fridge. Fridge comes out on a fantastic drawer. It's not switched on at the moment because at the moment we're not using the van for camping. I'm using it for work. 
We've taken all my work stuff out today just to do this van tour, but normally it looks like this. Then behind the fridge, under here, we've got our water tanks. So we've got a fresh water tank and a wastewater tank, and they're obviously connected up to my little sink here. Now that's, for some reason, the pump's not working today and uh, the water's not on, but uh, it's been sat for a while and not getting used, so it's, it's an easy fix, I can fix that. Um, moving on, we've got the all important tea and coffee facilities. We've got our gas burner, which is all operational. That's where I make my cups of tea every morning when we're away camping. And we've got our electrical sort of area here, which is uh, like the control panel. This is for the inverter, which is under my driver's seat down there. I can turn it off and on from here. Don't need that on at the moment. We've got a small battery register there, telling us how much power's left in the batteries. I've got the solar controller here, which uh, is bringing the power down from the solar panel and converting it and sending it to the batteries down there. Uh, we've got a 120 watt solar panel on the roof up there. It's only the one. It does as it does okay when we're away, but if we park in the shade, obviously we've had some problems. We managed to survive about three days on a campsite in Croatia without any solar charge, and then I had to take the van for a drive to get the battery charged up a bit. And I can do that because I've got a switch charge relay. Uh, down by my seat there and I can switch it off and on and it's also on an automatic switch charge relay So when we're driving the van it charges the leisure batteries as well But if we're parked up for a while, obviously we're relying on the solar and unfortunately it's a small solar panel So it doesn't give us that much, but it helps a lot. It does keep the fridge running for three days Now that's one little upgrade that I would make if we were to keep this van I would think about upgrading and putting uh, an external uh, shore power socket on, you know? So when we run on these campsites, it's different in different countries. In Croatia, we had to take campsites. You're not allowed to sleep at the side of the road. And on these campsites, they had uh, hookups. So we could hook up power if we had a hookup, but we don't. So that's one little upgrade I'd potentially do on this van. Beyond that, we have got a cupboard down here where we keep our pots and pans and plates and things. This cupboard falls all the way out around here. And this is a huge storage cupboard which goes right underneath the back of here. And that's where we keep all our canned goods, uh, cereal, crisps, chockey bars, all that sort of thing. And then right at the back under here, I've got two leisure batteries running in tandem, but uh, they're a bit tricky to get to. I've, I've designed it in such a way that you can take it apart and access them, but I'm not gonna do that for this video, I'm afraid. You'll have to go back and look at some of our conversion videos and you'll be able to see me building it in there. And then last but not least in the kitchen, we've got our little toilet. We will take a look at the bed in a minute, but first of all, we're gonna have a look out the back and what's in the back there. Hello everyone, I'm gonna be showing you what's in the back of our van today. First of all, let's move Ella's bed out of the way. Here we have the storage where we keep extra food and clothing items. And here is where we keep all of our camping chairs and tables. And here is our shower. Works really well for getting the salt off your body if you have any. And behind the shower here is we have water storage where you keep all the water. There's not any water in there now, but there will be when we go camping. Then a little bit more about our electrics. Over here, we have got, if you can see above my head, the lights are on a dimmer switch, which is fantastic. You can't see it too well in uh, this light, obviously. Then we've got our 240 volt sockets here. So you've got your normal household sockets where our laptops and stuff plug in. And then we've got some USB sockets and 12 volt uh, sockets over there. Then over here, on the electric panel, this is where we can turn on the water pump for the shower out the back, the water pump for the sink. We've also got um, 
a breaker there for the fridge. And what else is on there? Ah, the all important. If we look down here behind me, we have got under counter lights down here. So we get funky nighttime lighting. It's all down here as well. Now it's very hard to tell because it's daylight obviously, but when it is evening and we want things to darken off, we have obviously got these fantastic blackout curtains that go across both side windows. And we've also got these ones that pull across in front of the cab there. And to be fair, when we are away camping in this van, we can quite easily sleep until lunchtime because it's pitch black in here. It's really, really nice. We get a really good night's sleep. And another good little feature we added somewhere along the way, I can't remember where we bought this, but uh, this is a little holder for our toothbrushes. So our toothbrushes normally live in there. The heads go in there and the toothpaste because obviously it's just easy access every morning, every evening, and the sink's just there, the toothbrush is there. So that works really well. Right, then we've also got this nifty little bin that I found, again, Amazon, um, real slimline one that fits down there perfectly. And this was one of those things that's designed for holding shoes on the back of a door. It hooks over the back of your bedroom door or whatever, and it was much longer than that. And I cut it down in size. It is a bit, past its sell by day i need to do some running repairs on it but my gosh did we use this when we were away everything went in here we've got mosquito spray we've got window cleaner i've got my spare glasses case the washing line washing clips spare bulbs for the van it's all still in here from the last time we went sunscreen and we used to just keep all our things in here and this was a good place for our crocs and flip-flops and stuff so that was a real great idea. I'm so glad we did that. Hiding behind here, flip that up on there like that, and we've got this little cubby. And that is how we access our water tanks for the sink. And from there, we can take those out, fill them up, empty, in the, empty the gray one, no problem at all. And this is a, this is the Ella step we call. This is the Ella step because she can't get in the van without it. <laughs> and then up here, we would be lost without this thing. This obviously is a big old Halfords roof box, which I sprayed black. You can see we've got some of our stickers from our adventures on there. We lost our uh, Croatia one, it blown away somewhere. What? But uh, <laughs> what? Yeah, it's I gone. Didn't know this. Yeah, it's gone. We've lost it. Aww. Oh dear. And then cunningly what I put here, I cut a small hole in the back of this cupboard. And then this is so I can access that easily. So I have to climb up on here, grab all of that. And I can pop a foothold there and I'm able to get up here and access into the roof box nice and easily. So uh, that works really, really well. Right, I was just about to tell you about some more storage, but there's a little dog over there that's interrupting us a little bit. My goodness. Right, it stopped. Quick! Nope, started again. <laughs> Yay! My gosh. Right, we're gonna have to do it with the dog, I think. Right, all important in a little tiny van like this when you've got three people is storage. And more storage and more storage. So, underneath the sofa down here, We've got this little cubby hole, and this goes from here all the way to here. It's a whopping great uh, storage area under there. And that's where I keep things that we don't need access to too often. There's the gas bottles. That's where I keep my tools, uh, roadside assistance stuff like my jack. Um, we keep the toilet chemicals and things in there. Stuff that we don't need too often because it's a bit of a pain to get to. The front's not so bad, but for the bigger things, we're actually able to lift this up and we can access it from above. Now it's a bit of a mess in there at the moment because I'm not using the van for camping, obviously. Now, I think it's time, what everyone wants to know, how do we sleep three people in this little van? Let's show you the beds. <laughs> right, so this wonderful, L-shaped sofa that we've got here converts into a double bed that John and I share. And watch how quickly this happens. 
that's on these nice little draw runners so that comes out really easily and then should have got these first these two bits Ooh. going like that and that is a double bed for me and john but where is ella sleeping i hear you ask let's show <laughs> you <laughs> so silly <laughs> So to get Ella's bed constructed, we go in through the back. Oops. This here is Ella's bed. And here I have built these uh, like brackets onto the cupboard. And there's one on the wall over here and they are really strong. That's fastened to the uh, main body of the van behind there. So what we do is pop this off here spins around and goes that way and as you can see it's got these channels I made here these brackets and we go like this like that and stay right there and we have got two of these And Ella sleeps up there. And John and I squeeze our feet underneath. That's where I sleep, it's, it's very small. <laughs> Do you want to run around and show us from the other side, Elf? Go on, you can scurry around and uh, jump onto mine and John's bed. Now, because Elle is a tinky winky little person, she fits up there perfectly, you see. Very, very cozy on a night, isn't it? Yeah. And then what we do, you'll see in our videos, um, we have a laptop that goes here in front of these sockets. And we can all lay in bed. John and I sit up in bed against there and we can watch movies and stuff, which is great. Then up in the front here in the cab, there's not much to show. It's just a standard van cab. We do have a little compass up on here, just for fun more than anything else. This old uh, radio touch screen doesn't really work very well anymore. We used to be able to watch videos on that. That is for the reversing camera. We do actually have, I'll just show you. John and I just fit a brand new reversing camera just last week. I used to have this little one down here and it used to always get wet and weathered and be rubbish. And I kept swapping it for new ones. So I need to take that off and then protect the metal behind it because it's screwed through. But this one is so much better. It's up and out of the way of the weather. But yeah, there she is in all her glory. Right, so we hope you enjoyed that bit of a van tour. We did promise we'd do that a long time ago, didn't we guys? But we never got around to it. We never got around to it. Yeah. Um, there are things I would change now at this later stage, but it's only minor things. Like I said, I would have um, a hookup so we could plug in to uh, the mains if we're at campsites. Um, also, we don't have any ventilation. I was always gonna put a vent in the ceiling. I've even left wires running to about here so I can hook up um, a ceiling vent, but never got round to that. I don't know, don't think I'll do these things now because we're looking at upgrading to the bigger van. And then the only other thing would possibly be like a diesel heater maybe. There's not much room to squeeze one in here, but I'd probably get one under here. I just have to ditch some of my tools and not take those with us. But other than that, no, it's, it's served us really well this van, hasn't it? Yep. Yeah, we've all enjoyed it. Yes. And so with all that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, don't forget to... Like, subscribe, and subscribe. <laughs> Share. <laughs> Share. That's probably the fifth try time we've tried to do that. No, I can't even speak. Right, we're done, we're done, we're going. Bye. 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 <laughs>